Hello and welcome back again to Living for Christ Jesus TV. My name is Sherry. Thank you so much. Those of you who have watched the part one, part two, part three of this topic. So today is going to be the continuation of the previous video. I will start from where I stopped in the previous video. When the people of those days listened to the word which proceeded out of the mouth of the Holy Lord, they were so humbled and they asked him, What shall we do that we might walk the works of God. Do you know what Jesus Christ said to them? They have the ambition to walk the works of God because when the Lord Jesus Christ was preaching to them, the spirit of repentance come into them like they are so desire to do the works of God. But this is what Jesus Christ told them. John chapter 6 verse 28 to 29. Then said they unto him, What shall we do that we might walk the works of God? Jesus answered and said unto them, this is the work of God, that ye believe on him whom he hath sent. Glory be to Christ in the highest. <laughs> Look at the little work that God placed before we humans. What else do we want God to do for us? The people of those days asked the Lord Jesus Christ that, what can we do to do the works of God? You may be asking the same question now, that what can I do to do the works of God? What can I do to, you know, to believe Jesus Christ? What can I do to please God? Jesus Christ answered them in those days and said, The only thing you can do is to believe on whom God had sent. Glory be to Christ in the highest. And now, if you, if you claim that you serve God, and you are saying that Jesus Christ said that he's going to deny all believers on the judgment day because they serve him, according to your claim, and you say you love Jesus Christ even more, Okay. Now, in this word of God, it shows that your claim and your belief is false. And if you keep on believing such, you may end up where you don't want to be on the last day. Jesus Christ is telling you that the only work you can do for him is for you to believe on whom the Father has sent. It's for you to believe on him whom God has sent. That is the only work. That is the only work. Christ wants you to believe whom God has sent. After believing in Him, then you will abide in Him till the end. That is the only work. You know, on this channel, we don't have any lies to tell anyone. We always abide in what Christ said. Know for a fact that those who do not accept the Lord Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior are not doing the will of the Father. Those who mock Jesus Christ's birth are not doing the will of the Father. I've seen so many people who claim to love Christ and they say, but still they mock the birth of Christ Jesus. They call him all sorts of names. Even they mock everything about him. They mock his green hope. Yes, know this for sure, that those who mock Christ Jesus' birth are not doing the will of the Father. Those who say Jesus Christ is not the Son of the Holy God are not doing the will of the Father. Those who do not believe that Jesus Christ was sent into the world by the Father are not doing the will of the Father. Those who blaspheme Christ are not doing the will of the Father. Those who say the only God has no son and no one begot him are not doing the will of the Father. Those who call Christ a mere human being are not doing the will of the Father. Those who serve another God besides the Holy God of Heaven are not doing the will of the Father. Those who did not come to the Father through Jesus Christ, His Son, are not doing the will of the Father. Those who say there is no God are not doing the will of the Father. And all those who did not do the will of the Father cannot enter into the kingdom of the Holy God. It is very impossible. Yes, it is impossible. Jesus Christ has made it clear and the Holy God speaks in a clear tone that but he that does the will of the Father which is in heaven, yes, are the words who will enter into the kingdom of the Holy God. Yes, let's come to the conclusion of the matter. Will Christ deny also those who do the will of the Father in truth and in spirit? Now, the question goes to you, watching me right now. Those of you who said that Christ claimed to deny all believers on the judgment day because they serve him. And those of you who said that Jesus Christ will say to God that he dare not say to people to serve him, that he doesn't have the audacity to tell the people of the world to serve him. Yes, 
Now, why will Christ Jesus say unto those who die in Christ, Depart from me, I knew you not? This is clear that whoever says what Jesus Christ never said is lying. Yes. If you go ahead and print a book and lie in that book to deceive as many as you can, saying Jesus said this, Jesus said that, whereas he never says so, you are lying. Now, the word of the Holy God make it clear to you and I, yes, it, made it, it makes it clear to you and I that if you say that Jesus Christ would tell God that, no, I didn't ask anyone to stab me, that means you're lying. And if your book can affirm that, that Jesus Christ said that he did not ask anyone to serve him, that Jesus Christ said he's going to deny all those that believe on his holy name on the last day, you're lying. If your book can tell you that Jesus Christ will deny all believers in Christ, that means you're lying. If your book can tell you that Jesus Christ will deny all those that do the will of the Father in truth and in spirit, that means you are lying. That means your book is lying. That means you are lying and you have been deceived. That is the reason why Jesus Christ said, search the scriptures. In that scriptures which you say you believe, I will display it on the screen. Jesus Christ said, search the scriptures. In which you say you believe. The Lord said, you should search the scripture. That the scripture you hold in your hands, the scriptures you said you believed, they speak about him. Why then? Will you compete with the Most High God? Why then will you look down on your Savior, on, upon the only one who will take you to the kingdom of the Holy God? Those who have died without believing in the Lord Jesus Christ know where they are at this time. Supposing they have a second chance, they will have come into the world. To, they will tell their household to repent and start accepting the Lord Jesus Christ because they have seen a great terror. They have seen the land of darkness and shadow of death in the, in the city where it's full of darkness, where the mercy of the Lord reached not. In the city where there is no command. Uh, the wealthy man in those days, which Jesus Christ told us about, the man, and you know, you, maybe you, you might have heard the story of Lazarus and the wealthy man. The man, when he gets into hell, he, he knew that he has re really met his own Waterloo. And when that man asked Father Abraham to ask Lazarus to dip his finger into the water of life, to come to where he was, to drop the drop of water to his tongue, do you think the man doesn't know what he was asking? He knows what he was asking because he knew that if that water of life enter into his tongue, he will even leave the hell and come into the paradise of the Holy God where Abraham and Lazarus was. There is still time now to repent. There is still time now to search the scriptures, as the Lord Jesus Christ said, so that you will understand who Jesus Christ truly is. But if you be a person who only search the scriptures just to seek for the fault of Jesus Christ, you will always fall into a pit, the spiritual pit. You will keep on going deeper in deception. And the way of death will continue to open before you, but you cannot see it in the spiritual realm. Whoever is seeking for the thoughts of the Lord Jesus Christ is killing his own soul. Yes, know this today. I'd rather go to buy Bible, read it to seek who Jesus Christ is. If you do that wholeheartedly, I believe that the Holy God will reveal himself to you, as he has done to many people. Maybe you have heard the testimony of a lot of people who saw Christ Jesus because Christ himself came to them. He comes to them to reveal himself to them because he wants to save them, because he doesn't want them to perish when they depart from the world. Don't go into the Bible to search for the fault of Christ Jesus. You can never find it. Thank you so much for watching. May God bless you. I'll see you all on my next video.